Okay, y'all. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Patrice and I'm glad that you are here. Please look at the other content and if you enjoy that content, please be sure to like it and also hit that subscribe button. For my returning subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back. So a few weeks ago, I entered into the world of the link. All right, so I'm not sure if you all saw, we had a crafts and combos dedicated to the linking out some merch using hot fix rhinestones and also regular flat back rhinestones. So today I am diving back in and I will be making my Cricut Maker a little bit of jewels. So this is what I made for the crafts and combos and it came out really, really beautifully. I used um, a little bit of hot fix rhinestones mixed with regular flat back rhinestones and pearls. However, today we are only using hot fix rhinestones and we are going to dive right into making a lid for our Cricut that is sure to brighten it up even more. Let's get started. All right, y'all, so let's go over everything that we will be using today. So we will be using this rose gold HTV that I got from the Rhinestone World. Also, we will be using these hot fix rhinestones. They're also rose gold. These came from the Rhinestone World as well. The size is 6SS. In addition, we will be using HTV Anything, and this will turn the rhinestone and the HTV into a decal okay so they have another product called bling anything and they work differently they seem like they're the same but they work differently the bling anything cannot be used for htv also i got this hot fix transfer tape and i ordered this from amazon and finally to get everything together and everything done i ordered this flock from heat transfer warehouse so that I can cut the template and use this brush to brush the rhinestones into place. This also came from heat transfer warehouse. All right, so we are about to get started. All right, y'all. So now we are in silhouette studio and I am using the business edition because in order to create the rhinestone, template, you have to have the business edition of Silhouette Studio. This will not work with the basic edition. Okay, so we are going to start by creating the template for the lid cover. And we need to create a rounded rectangle. So we are going to select the rectangle with the rounded edges. And we are simply going to place it inside. So these two red points will allow us to curve those edges a little bit more. But before we do that, we want to size the rectangle correctly. The rectangle is going to be 18 inches wide by 4.6 inches high. Okay, so now we have the dimensions correct and we are going to have to round these edges. Now, I am just pretty much eyeballing the Cricut top and I am just going to decide how round these edges should be. I have not measured those edges or how it curves or anything like that. So if you want, you can, once you create your template, you can print this out and then see if it fits onto the top of the lid. So in order to round it, you want to move these points. And as you round it, the entire rectangle will curve, okay? So you don't have to worry about rounding each individual edge. Once you round it, it will round the other corners. Okay, this looks like this is how it is. And yeah, I think I'm going to be happy with this, but I am going to test this out. I will print this and then I will um, cut it out and 
place it on top just to make sure that it is the correct dimensions. Okay, y'all, so it is the correct dimensions. It fits perfectly, actually. Surprisingly, the first time I did this, um, I actually had to go back a few times and adjust a little bit, but this fits perfectly. So now we are going to get ready to make our rhinestones. So what you have to do is on the side panel, there are so many different options for you to expand different panels. You can also go up to panels and you can select rhinestones here, or you can select it on the right side panel. All right, so I'm just gonna select it here. And now you need to know what size rhinestones you will be using. So if you will be using 6SS rhinestones, then you want to click 6SS. If you will be using 10SS, then you will be selecting that. All right, guys. So before we continue, I actually want to make a duplicate of the template. So I am just going to click copy. Well, I can just click duplicate. And so I am now going to just simply move this one down. This will be for my rose gold HTV that I'll be using. And this one will be for the actual rhinestones. Okay, so now I am going to select the size rhinestones that I'll be using. And I will be using 6SS rhinestones. And now I need to decide how I want the rhinestones to be laid out. So you can pretty much do an outline if it's something that you just want to outline. This can be transferred to any rhinestone design that you're doing. Uh, you can also have it linear where the rhinestones are all in lines. Or you can do radial. And the radial it will be more circular and that's the one that I want to use because of the style of the lid cover. It just looks like it flows a lot better and this is pretty filled in. Okay, so you can also change the rhinestone spacing to either make it uh, more tight or put a little more space in between. That's up to you. This is perfect, so I'm going to leave it like this. And if you need it to add in rhinestones to fill in space, you can do that with the freehand button right here, and you'll be able to place your rhinestones. All right, guys, so we are pretty much done, and I am going to convert this to path. This one, I believe, is already converted to path, so we're pretty good. And now I am going to save this, and I need to save this to my hard drive, because if you save to the library, it's going to be saved in your Silhouette Studio library, and I want this onto my hard drive so I can use it everywhere. And I will be saving this as an SVG file, and I am going to change this to Cricut Maker Lid Rhinestones. And, yep, we're just gonna save it to documents. All right, guys, so now we are inside of Cricut Design Space, and it's time for us to import that SVG file inside and we are going to go to upload. I'm going to click upload image, browse. All right, so it's here and we are just going to click upload. Okay, so they finally uploaded into the canvas and as you all see, they came in grouped together and they are smaller than how we designed inside of Silhouette Studio. So we see here that they're grouped, so let's go ahead and ungroup them. And it's very important that you make sure that the size is exactly what it should be and what you designed in Silhouette Studio. Now, once you change the dimensions inside of Cricut Design Space, it will automatically adjust those uh, settings for you. So you don't want to click onto that unlock button. This is very important that you don't try to resize it yourself because you want those rhinestones to fit inside of the holes. 
So I'm just going to separate these and then I'm going to select the first one and the width I know is 18 inches. And so as you see, it automatically adjusted to 4.676 and we know that it is 4.6. So I'm just going to go ahead and unclick the lock button and make it 4.6, even though I don't think that that would have mattered much. Next, we are going to do the same thing for our HTV portion of the image, and I'm just gonna select 18. And as you all see, this automatically changed it to the 4.6 size. All right, guys, so this is pretty much it. We are all set to go. And so I am going to click on Make It. Okay, so I hopped back over to Silhouette Studio because there was one key point that I forgot to mention. And as you all know, we selected the 6SS sized rhinestones. So below, Silhouette Studio has all of the different sizes and underneath it will let you know based off of the size that you selected how many rhinestones you will need for your project. So for this project, we will need 4,121 6SS sized rhinestones. All right, so that's all I wanted to let you know and we are going to head back over to Cricut. All right guys, so now we are ready to cut our template out and I will be placing these on two separate mats because one mat will be for the flock and the other will be for the HTV. In addition, I am going to cut out another cover because I need to cut the HTV anything. So I will be using the Cricut to cut the HTV anything also. All right, so we know that this is going to be cut on an 11 by or 12 by 24 mat. And let's get ready to continue. Okay, so now we need to select the material, and this is not a material that we can pull from the wide selection that Cricut has. So we're going to browse all materials, and then I'm going to click on to material settings. I'm going to take you all through doing this as if this were the very first time we're adding it. And so what we're going to do is we are going to go all the way down. And we are going to add a new material. Okay, and so we're going to click on add new material. And let's name this rhinestone. And click save. And so now we need to adjust the cut pressure. And so the cut pressure, we are going to do a 340 cut pressure. And then you're going to click save. We are still going to use the fine point blade that will cut it just fine. And we are going to save it. And so now we are going to select rhinestones. So next time you need to cut flock, you can definitely, for rhinestones, you can definitely use that setting. All right, y'all, so now we need to place our flock onto the mat. I'm going to use our brayer just to kind of get it down really, really good. All right, guys, so we're ready to put this in. And I put a little painter's tape to make sure that it stays down. This is going to be a lot of cuts. So I want to make sure that it's nice and secure. I'm going to put another little piece right here on this corner. I'm being very careful to put it at the very, very edge because I don't want it to mess with the cuts. So we have 
have everything cut out and we are going to have to read the template. So first I just want to go ahead and peel the HTV anything. And when cutting, because I didn't get a chance to show this on camera, but when cutting, you want to cut on the shiny side, okay? So you need to make sure that you are cutting on the shiny side. One side has a matte finish, the other side is shiny. And so you want the shiny side up and the matte side to be onto the matte. Okay, and so now I'm just going to get ready to weed. And I'm just doing this with my hands because it's a very basic shape. And so I am weeding the HTV. All right, guys. So this is a lot of little holes and some of the holes, like some of them I did not take out because it's just too many and I'm going to celebrate the success that I have so far with the ones that are out. So I am going to use this cardstock paper as my base and we are just going to press that down. And so it looks like my my flock was a little bit off in the Cricut, but it's okay. It's still going to work just fine because we're using the Rolled Scold HTV, and that's going to make it extra, extra sparkly. So I'm not really worried about the holes that are still there, even though I can probably pick them out, but I don't want to. So this is what it looks like. All right, y'all, so we're ready to put our rhinestones in the template, and we are using the Simon Cut Hot Fix Rhinestones from the Rhinestone World. And we have size SS6, the pressing temperature is 325, pressing time 15 seconds, and it requires a medium to firm press. Let's do it, we're just going to kind of And so as we saw, this requires about 4,000 rhinestones. So right here, this is about 1,400 rhinestones. So I know that we're gonna need another two packs. Okay. So you're gonna take your brush, and this is the reason for the brush, because you're gonna go in circles and as you go in a circle this will turn the rhinestones in the correct direction all right guys so we are done now with placing all of the rhinestones in the circles that we can and we are going to get ready to transfer it to transfer tape now I'm just going to peel the backing off of the transfer tape. This is transfer tape specifically for this type of project, okay? So your regular transfer tape will not work as this is going to be going under heat. Uh-oh, I should have just dropped it right down, y'all. And just smoothing this out with my hands because I already lifted it up. And then turn it over a little. Get from the back. back over and it should be good for us to peel and it is so 
So, so now we're at the heat press and we are going to get ready to press the HTV into the HTV anything. And so we are pressing the HTV onto the shiny side of the HTV anything. need to make sure it matches up pretty good. And it does. All right, and I'm going to put my Teflon sheet on top. We're gonna press. All right. That is on there, and now we are going to peel the backing off of the HTV. Next, we are going to grab the rhinestones. All right, y'all, so here's the rhinestone sheet. And now we are going to get ready to place this on top. As you'll see, when I lifted it up, don't lift it up prematurely like I did. Once you put it down, you have to really be committed to pressing it. All right guys, so we're going to remove this from under the heat as the rhinestones are a cold peel. All right guys, so we are going to get ready to peel it off and just make sure when you press the transfer tape down that you don't move it like I did because that will cause your rhinestones to kind of go where you don't want them to. It'll come out of the template, so you don't want that. Some of mine actually ended up turning the other way, but guys, this is so pretty. And now we are just going to do some of those on the side, trying to get stuff on the edges. But it's okay. So those are the ones when I lifted it up, I moved them out of place. But with the glitter HTV, you can't even tell that there's anything out of place. Look how pretty y'all. And so in order to place it, I've already cleaned off the top with alcohol, but you can do um, a wet application to put it on. I'm not, I'm just gonna peel the back and Place it on. So I'm gonna peel a little bit first and then see how it it goes on. lid cover and this is so pretty y'all like you can't really even see how beautiful this is on camera looking at it in person and looking at it on the screen it just does it no justice so i'm super super excited about blinging this out i can't wait to blink out more things and 
yeah, this is pretty, pretty, pretty easy. So I do want to give a shout out to the rhinestone world. This is where I learned how to do all of this playing and I'm really, really thankful for them. So if you guys have not heard of the rhinestone world or if you are interested in belaying out and stuff, check them out. Their link will be listed in the description below. But yeah, I'm super, super excited, super thrilled about this. And y'all, I have another Cricut maker that needs a little bit of bling also. So I will be blinking that one out as well. But that is all that I have for y'all today. It seemed like that was a lot, but it really, really wasn't. So I just want to remind you all that we have a Facebook group, Craftable Things. Please head over there and like us on Facebook. Also, make sure to head over to TikTok and follow us there as well. I would definitely appreciate it and y'all really on facebook there's so much information being shared so much love so please come over there and join the party but that's going to be it for today y'all thank you all so much for watching until next time